Hello, friends. Today's video is about how epilepsy is a teacher. So let me give you, let me give you some uh, background info. So after I hit my six months of being seizure free, like six months plus, um, my neuro had me titrate off my an anti-epileptic medication so I was titrating off of zonisamide and during this period I was taking zonisamide and uh, clobazan which is a benzo and I take the benzo because <coughs> stress is my trigger so the benzo should be mellowing, mellowing, mellowing me out so, once I was done taking zonisamide, I was only taking the club, clobazam. And after I only had the clobazam in my system, I started having seizures again. So, I actually had four seizures. So, on January 22nd, I had a seizure in the living room, and you can see the post-seizure interview in my channel. <laughs> so that was the first one. Um, and then six days later, on the 28th of January, um, my family and I took a trip down to New Mexico, and we visited my uncle. And that night, I, I was sleeping. And then I woke up and then instantly slid into a seizure. Yeah. And then, let's see, 20, uh, 22 days later, on Febu February 19th, uh, that was like my most vulnerable seizure that I had because I was on the toilet and I slid into a seizure. <sighs> that one was tough. I came out uh, hyperventilating, scared, and I believe I had another seizure that day. I had two seizures that day. And then 12 days later, on March 2nd, so last night, um, I fell asleep, had such an awesome sleep for an hour, and then I woke up, and I looked to my window, and I slid into a seizure. Yeah. So... Not my best few months. And through this video, I, like I said, I want to talk about how epilepsy is a teacher. So on my first seizure in the living room, I created a video with my sister. Uh, on the second seizure, sleeping in my uncle's uh, house um, like the morning after like the afternoon after we went to a shopping mall and I had just had a seizure the night before uh, the third one where I was the most vulnerable on the toilet that one I think hit me the hardest it's like I had the darkest mentality that I've had s like since I since I looked up to my uh, shower head and said I am epileptic and finally accepted my epilepsy because 
before that period and like after I was diagnosed I just had like dark thoughts over and over again like I, I couldn't handle it and with this third seizure I I slid into that mentality yeah it was really tough because I've said some some things that aren't very positive aren't very I guess helpful for me as a person with epilepsy and when I said these words my mom and sister were kind of taken aback because I've never really had so much hatred for myself for my future or for just epilepsy in general and I'm not going to repeat these words because I don't want you thinking those words so yeah it was a pretty dark time like I would try to I would force myself to do my routine I would force myself to do yoga, I would force myself to meditate, I would almost force myself to like want to take a shower it, it was tough man and then the the seizure that happened last night I remember thinking like I need to make a video of how epilepsy is a teacher but the only thing I was thinking right after the seizure was how lost I felt like I like I said I like do brain games I do yoga I meditate I do breathing exercises um, I like stay active I take supplements like vitamin supplements like I try to give this care to my brain and I'm still having seizures so last night that's what I was thinking I'm like why is this happening like why do I feel lost and feeling lost was going to be my main topic on this video but this morning when I showered I was like you know what no <laughs> epilepsy is a teacher and how is epilepsy a teacher so I wrote it down so during these four episodes epilepsy has taught me to adapt and let the seizure only be just like a tiny part of my day. Like I, I accept what's gonna happen to me. I accept the seizure. I go into it as tough as it is. I freak out, not really freak out. I. I don't even know if scare is the right word either. Let's just say that my family doesn't like it when they see me having a seizure. Like last night, my sister broke down in front of me after I came to and she was like, I, I hate seeing you seize because you're blacked out and I don't know if you're gonna come back again. And that hit me, that hit me hard. I didn't show it because I was like furious that I had a seizure, but it really did hit me hard. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, seizures and epilepsy have taught me to adapt to whatever comes my way. Epilepsy has taught me to be more 
confident within myself. Like a few days ago, for the first time in like over two and a half years, I had the confidence to tell a girl that I had a crush on her. And that hasn't happened in two and a half years or over two and a half years. And yeah, just let the seizure only be a, p a tiny part of my day. Like the living room incident here at home, I had my sister make a like post-seizure interview. And then I took a nap, woke up and we, I don't know, had dinner or watched a movie or something. Uh, sleeping in my uncle's house. The day after, I went to the mall. Like nothing happened. Um, the vulnerable one. Let's see. After that, I was kind of scared for a good hour, and then I just fell asleep. So I think the vulnerable one is the outlier. And March second, last night, there in bed. I stayed up for a little bit, thought about what happened, and I knew I needed I needed to make a video. And here we are. I'm making a video and I felt really good about it. I mean I took all these notes and I really enjoyed how it it turned out. And I thank you so much for the opportunity of watching this video, being here with me, and giving me the opportunity of just sharing, sharing the story, sharing what was going on in my mind with these four seizures. I really appreci uh, appreciate you all. You're all amazing. I love you all, and you're all my friends. So. Thank you. Peace out.